The flag, coat of arms and anthem are understandable and truthful. They keep worldly wisdom and themselves, strengthen spiritual forces, inspire new achievements. This speech on the occasion of the celebration of the day of the national flag, coat of arms and anthem of the Republic of Belarus on May 14 was supposed to be delivered by Alexander Lukashenko. He had never missed such events before. Now he was not present at the festivity. Prime Minister Roman Golovchenko read out the speech on behalf of Lukashenko. For the first time Lukashenko did not speak in Minsk on May 9th either. There is no official information about his state health. There is nothing supernatural there. It's not COVID. The man just got sick. Despite the fact that the person fell ill, he considered it his duty to come to Moscow. And then in the evening of the same day, he held events in Minsk. He probably needs some rest. That's all. Konstantin Zatulin, first deputy chairman of the State Duma Committee of the Russian Federation for the CIS Affairs, in an interview with Podium. At the May 9th celebration in Moscow, journalists drew attention to Lukashenko's bandaged hand and his poor health. He did not take part in the working breakfast which Putin organized for the leaders of several CIS countries who arrived in Moscow for the May 9th parade. And then he stopped appearing in public at all. What is happening now is absolutely unusual, non-standard. Lukashenko has shown all the time that he is invincible, that he is not sick. Well, like every dictator of a totalitarian state. And then suddenly he disappears, and state propaganda cannot explain anything. Journalists ask, people ask. They say you will know everything. And here it is clear that the propaganda itself does not know what happened to Lukashenko. The Belarusian opposition says that now Belarus is in a situation where the 30-year era of chaos, repressions, terror, murders and kidnappings may end. The most important thing is whether we, the democratic forces, will be ready to turn Belarus onto a democratic path of development. Because it is obvious that Russia will try to intervene. It is obvious that Russia is preparing its own plan. And obviously for Putin, control over Belarus is a great importance, including to fight with Ukraine. Russia seeks to make Belarus its part, but the majority of Belarusians are against the war unleashed by Russia and support Ukraine. And this is their difference from the Russians, President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky said in an interview with Italian media. This suggests that despite the information policy, despite any narratives, Belarusians are fighting. When you are told on television, on the internet and newspapers that Russia is your brother and Ukraine is your enemy, it is difficult to live in such a narrative. But they are fighting and I believe that the society of Belarus remains independent. It is difficult, it is also a war because they have no victims, but there are lost people who have been brainwashed. This is also a war for independence, freedom of speech, freedom of choice. This is a big war for the same values. Belarus will strive to become part of the European Union, the opposition is sure. The mood in society, according to Frana Kvechorka, shows that people are tired of living in a state of constant fear. And the chances to change the political course of Belarus are now quite high. Of course, the internet helps us with this. Information work helps us with this. Ukraine inspires us very much with its struggle for European values. Reported by Serhii Kules, Natalia Husak, UATV News.